there's one more array tool that I want to talk to you about, and that is the copy array. It's kind of hidden, but it's there. And the copy array tool is actually in the copy command and not an array command. It allows you to create a linear, non-associative array on the fly. That means that you can really just copy your objects many times in a straight line. Let's open up an example file. Let's open up the array example file. So let's zoom into this chair. And it's very simple to use, actually. Start the copy command. Type in CP or type in the word copy or go up to your ribbon. Press Enter. Select your object. Press Enter. Pick your base point, and now type in the letter A. You can see it's an option on the command line. This will put it in array mode. Now type in the number of times that you want to copy the object. Let's say five. As you can see here, I'm going to zoom out. I have five objects that are being copied. Now it kind of works like the polar array. It's only making one line or one linear copy of the objects. Now I can pick the second point to determine the angle and spacing and just click somewhere. Or you can type in the distance if you'd want and then enter in the angle. So let's say I want them at a 45 degree angle and I want them to be about 50 units apart. This works kind of like the line command. So type in the number 50, press tab, and I type in 45 degrees, press return. And now I'm still in the copy command and I made all of those copies very quickly. So if you know your distance of separation and the angle that you want and you only need one line of your object, this is a very quick and easy thing to do. I'll use this copy command a lot of times when I'm laying out a parking lot. Where I'm at, the city code calls for parking lots to be nine foot wide. And if I know that I need 10 parking spaces right in a row in a line, which they typically are, I can just draw the first line, use this copy array command, and evenly space them out nine feet and make 10 of them. And I can do that very quickly, and it's very useful. Now you can also change this to work in fit mode. This mode lets you pick the start and end points of the array and sort of fills in the blank. So if I start the array option again, I type in AR for array while I'm in here, and let's say I want five items again. And now instead of typing in the distance, I just tell it to fit. If I press the F button, then press enter, now I'm going to the end. And then I just pick my spot. Right click, press enter or escape to get out of there. And that's the copy array command that can be very useful. It's very limited in what it can do, but sometimes that's all you need to do.